John in Omac, Washington writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, my source can put out high res 364 to my processor, but that is limited to 96 bits. Hmm, okay. Are the high end or low end of the music frequencies chopped off or do I lose bits across the whole spectrum? What would I hear if I upgrade the preamp to one that processes all the bits? Thanks. If you can clarify this in simple terms, I would very much appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Well, first off, I think we're getting a little bit confused. I don't know of any format that has 96 bits. The most bits I'm familiar with when it comes to PCM is like 32 bits. So let's, let's talk about that. The bits in a PCM stream are there to define the level of possible dynamic range. Okay? So the loudest to the softest is determined by the number of bits. And that usually, by the time you get to 32, it's like goofy dynamic range. 24 bits is 120 dB, I think which is more than adequate, doesn't adequately describe it. <laughs> so 16 bits gives us like 96 dB, which is a lot. Uh, an album, stereo vinyl album, maybe 65, 70 dB of dynamic range from the softest to the loudest, right? So when you go to CD, you get to 96. When it's 24 bits, I think it's, if I remember right, it's 120. Then we go up to like 136. Uh, someone, Ted Smith, our digital guru, described to me that with 32 bits of resolution or dynamic range, however we want to describe it, one could capture the softest sound of a single molecule of air striking your eardrum to standing next to a jet engine. Now, I don't know if that was an exaggeration by Ted, but it gives you an idea of kind of the goofiness of, of that. Nobody cares about single molecules hitting your, your ear. And for most of us, when we're doing recordings, we have a noise floor that, oh gosh, is, you know, it's not that low. You've got noise from this and that. If it drops too low, people won't even hear it, right? I mean, we don't use compressors unless the musician demands it for a specific instrument. But in general, we go for as much dynamic range as is possible. So we want from the tiniest pin drop of sound to the giant crescendo. That's what we're looking for. I mean, that's, that's the cool stuff that we do here at Octave Records, right? But even that, I mean, 100 dB, plenty. Trust me, that's a lot. That's a lot more than we use, but we have it all available. So in, in DSD, which we record everything, we're probably more like 110, 120 dB, more like 24. Okay, so, but I don't think you're talking about bits. I think what you're talking about here when you say 96 bits is you mean sample rate. So I think what he's saying, John, is saying if we go from a sample rate of 362 kilo, uh, uh, kilohertz down to 96 kilohertz, what is happening to all those bits? Okay, well, there are more bits, but there aren't, there isn't more dynamic range. So let's imagine we have a 30, 362 um, uh, kilohertz sample rate 24-bit recording, and we have a 96 kilohertz sample rate recording with the same 24 bits. When you reduce the number of samples, because this is within a one-second period of time, right? So we only have, we're, we're measuring everything in one second. So within one second, we have 96,000 of these bits. We just, just bear with me or we have 362,000 of these bits, okay? And I think that's what you mean. And what happens to all those bits if we take it down to 96 kilohertz? Well, they get 
sampled out. Does that matter? Couple points on that. First off, 96 kilohertz, that's a sample rate that is uh, twice, a, a little more than twice that of a CD, okay? So that means, according to the Nyquist theory, that if I have 96 kilohertz, um, I can get half of that frequency in. So what's half of 96? Let's call it 48. So I can get 48 kilohertz of audio information in, and that's quite a lot. 48 kilohertz is pretty nice. That's a good point. On CD, we're at 44.1 kilohertz, which means I can only get in about 20 kilohertz. And that's marginal because we have to filter it out so we don't alias, blah, blah, blah. 96 kilohertz is a fairly comfortable point because if we can get in reasonable fashion up to 50 kilohertz, we're doing pretty good. Certainly we can't hear that high, and the reason we want to do that so we don't get any phase shift from filters down into the audio range. What, what you want is a very clean 0 to 20 kilohertz within our human hearing range uh, that is unaffected by any kind of filtering or phase shifting. And to do that, you need to get 50, 100 kilohertz, some, somewhere in there. So the, the higher sample bits of that 352 in this instance, if you cut it back down using a proper uh, sample rate converter, of which is not found in your Windows and not found in your Mac devices, but there are good sample rate converters, you're not going to hear much of a difference. But they're thrown away and everything is reconverted back. But yes, you can do that without being worried too much about a loss as long as you don't dip down below about 96 kilohertz. And that's all PCM, none of which we have in DSD, but that's another story. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for the question. Take it easy.